Okay, here in Final Cut Pro, we're going to have a look at how we add transitions and also how we fade to black um, in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing uh, we're going to look at here is what we have on the timeline. So we have three different clips. Okay, now one thing that's important to note when you're adding transitions is that you have media available um, to you. So what this means is that when you're cutting your, your clips, that you don't see uh, the red line on the edge here. Um, basically, in order for clips to overlap, um, to be able to transition between one another, um, you need to have a, a section of your clip. So, for example, what that means when we pop up here to select a new clip is that when we actually we make a selection or drag out an area that we're going to add to the timeline, we don't go right to the, the media limit here. Okay, And we can look at an example of what that will mean when we see that on the timeline. So I've just selected right at the beginning of the clip here. And if we drag this now down to the timeline, and just with the selection tool, drag out we'll see that red line popping up and if you see that on both sides of your clip then Final Cut won't be able to add a transition to your your clips okay so how do we add a transition the transitions are available across here on the right hand side under this central button so we can show the transitions browser and basically this will show a series of the transitions that you have selected from one of your menus across here so the basic Dissolves such as cross dissolve and fade to color are available here. So if we scroll over these, it's going to show us preview of that transition. So to add a transition, it's really simple. We can just click and hold on it and drag it across to the timeline here, and you can see the transition is added. This orange line at the top here means that the transition is rendering in the background now. So we can still play it through by hitting the space bar and it will give us a preview of that. But when we stop editing now, you'll see in the central bar here, we just had a little background render going on and Final Cut's now rendered that transition. So we have some cross dissolves available here. If we wanna access some information about those cross dissolves, we can go up to the window, to the inspector, and we can see some information about that. Okay, so for a cross dissolve, it'll be pretty basic information. We can change things um, for the audio, fade which is added automatically here um, so we can have an s curve a plus 3 db a minus db or a linear transition for our audio fade in or audio fade out and then for some of the more advanced transitions if we click and delete this guy we'll just come to our wipes okay and if we add an inset wipe here then you can see we have some other options for that transition available to us up here in the inspector. So we have real nice uh, control of that transition. So for instance, if you look at how this transition works, it's pulling in from the center. We can either come here to change the center point. So we can move the, the center of where that transition's going to happen. So we could move it to around the focal point of the, the next clip. Okay. We can also change the edge treatment up here so we can have a faded or feathered border okay and increase that or we can change it to a solid color or noir okay and you can see how that now fades in nicely over the top and again if we hang on we'll see this orange bar disappear once we click away from the timeline and final cut does its background rendering Okay, so to fade to black or to a different color, if we scroll up and come back to our dissolves, you can see we have a fade to color dissolve. And if we drag that onto the end of our clip, we'll get a fade to black. Okay, now the nice thing about using the fade to color is that we can change it if we want to. So if we click on the color here, then we can pick a color that we've previously chosen and we can use the hue saturation brightness sliders or we can switch to an rgb slider if we want to type in a certain value or jump to the other tools for setting um, particular colors so we can set a particular color that we want to fade to okay we can also click on the downward pointing arrow here which brings up a different color picker and we can pick out a color that we want to fade to so now when we fade it's going to fade to that color Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to add a transition and how to add a, a fade to black or a fade to a color at the end of your film. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions.